All right. Hello and welcome everyone to another of the builds refreshes for 2022. Today we're going to be talking about Zaku and Zaku is actually very, very good right now. I think they are an excellent Warframe for just doing a variety of different tasks, whether that's just random star chart business or hanging out on the steel path. And they are only a little inconsistent without the helmet ability in terms of their survivability. So, for that, Zaku, we are subsuming Condemn. Condemn is Harrow's ability. Harrow was made easier to get recently, so much easier on the subsuming bit for that. Uh, and Condemn is very, very good at keeping Zaku topped off on shields so that you can refresh your shield gate whenever you want, as opposed to, you know, not. And of course, in regular missions, having a ton of shields is going to help whenever you stack it on top of the thing that Zaku is normally doing, which is dodging via being in the vast on time. 75% dodge, dodge chance is pretty good, but without the ability to refresh your shields, you can you know run the risk of getting unlucky twice in a row and basically just instantly dying on steel path levels. And having to entirely rely on the vast on time isn't great for just regular star chart stuff. And you can be much more you know chill with just using condemn. Uh, to both, of course, crowd control a very, very large amount of enemies and also give you tons and tons of shields. With that, the build has changed pretty significantly with some new toys we've gotten. We have Molt Augmented, which is doing a lot of heavy lifting in this build in order to make this a lot more comfortable. Before we got Molt Augmented and also the new refresh on Matarai and or Xenric, because both of them can apply to this because it's all about strength. Uh, you would have to sacrifice a lot because the thing that Zaku needs is at least at the absolute floor 200% range. And that is the bare minimum. So you're going to be using overextended almost certainly uh, because you just need the range. Otherwise, Zaku does not get to do the thing that they do. For that, we of course have to take that minus 60% ability strength which is real, real rough because for our abilities, namely uh, Gaze on the Lost, we need to get to 200% strength for that complete defense reduction to allow Zaku to scale, uh, well, essentially infinitely and be able to always kill enemies at any level. And as we've gone over in many other refreshes, the full armor strip is just invaluable. And range helps pretty much everything that's going to matter on Zaku. The only thing that it wouldn't matter on is the ability we get rid of, which is an okay damage boost that you might see use on other Warframes, but for me personally, I don't value it at all, and I prefer everything else that Zaku does. So what we have here is basically 163% strength, 280% range, 130% efficiency, which is pretty good. Normally, we were running a little under 100% efficiency because we do uh, not have to run Blind Rage anymore, and we previously really did. Uh, and we have 128% duration. Worth noting, you can make this an even more comfy build in a variety of different ways that we can talk about, uh, which is just like switching around some of the core mods. But in order to get to that 200%, we are relying on Molt Augmented. So early on in Steel Path, you are not going to need instantaneously to have that 200% strength. And if you are running Matarai, if you run into a situation where you really do need that armor strip, you can get 40% from there. But with Molt Augmented, this will eventually just have you be always at that full strength. This is going to give us a raw 60% after we've gotten 250 kills. And of course, we're, we're only going to need 40%. So it's about like 158-ish uh, of the stacks is all we're going to need in order to permanently be at that full armor strip and also just stronger in general, both of which are incredible things. So Molt Augmented really helps a lot here, and it basically allows us to take some more comfortable stats. With that, this does only give 60%. So options that you do have you can go for auger message uh this is going to be generally a little bit more comfortable for just you know managing your durations because you're basically just having to recast the vast on time all uh, all the time and this is going to give that a 37 second duration for me personally i think it is a lot easier and better to just go for like the 31 second duration the extra six seconds i don't think is super valuable as compared to just being able to use matter to get the rest of the strength if i really need it if i need it early on in a mission or something um but it is an option to swap in Augur Secrets, and then you do have to use Power Drift up here because you will be at, you know, 139, which would be only 199 with Malt Augmented. Or, of course, you can rely on Matarai 
plus molt augmented all the time for your 100% strip. But for me personally, I just think that that's worse. Also, there is sort of an argument kind of for not auger reach. I, I really completely disagree personally. But if you feel for some reason that you do not need the ex extra range, you can go for more duration in this slot and that will make it so you have to refresh those cooldowns less often. But I, I again, really do not think that that is worth it. And I really very much preferred this build. Other things that are worth noting, uh, the other build for Zaku, Zaku is the premier box breaker and collection Warframe with the Yoinku build. Uh, this utilizes Mag's pull over your one. Uh, this with uh, Greedy pull will pull in all of the pickups and stuff in any given direction. This is really good because we're building max range with the vast on time using our four to blow up all of the boxes in a map and then using greedy pull in order to pull those all in so we can get all the resources collected. This is the best way to break boxes in any tile set because it is the largest range and also with the better damage for blowing all those boxes up. So if you're on a box farm, this is the best thing you can possibly be doing. Moving on back to the regular build here. Uh, this build is just generally great. It's got a very unique flow to it. Uh, weapons don't matter a ton for you, although I would usually suggest something that has a lot of raw damage, like the Glaive Prime, uh, and just things that can get through uh, enemies that are going to be kind of immune to your two, which the list is incredibly, incredibly short. It's mostly just like bosses and weak point enemies that don't matter that much in the grand scheme of anything anyway. Uh, so not really too much to worry about, but the flow is usually that you're going to want to use your one in most cases to stun a bunch of enemies and then you're going to use your two to steal enemies weapons uh you're going to use your three namely you are going to use not accuse and not deny but you're going to use gaze to lock down one enemy and strip all of the armor from all the enemies in the aoe around them which is incredibly useful and then you're going to go into your four which pauses the timers on your two and your three to extend them for an additional 30 seconds so you don't have to spend energy on them all the time and also gives you a 70, 75 percent dodge chance and also a speed increase so that you are uh running around as a good skeleton for a while and uh you know just getting it all done and cleaning enemies up uh this play style i will note can be extremely passive if you want it to you do need max range in order for it to be any kind of passive at all but you can get into setups like i'm going to show in the steel path run where enemies can't walk into the room you're in or they die and the reason for that is because your two scales really really well especially with this much strength and range the more range you have the further it can shoot and its range is hilariously short normally but at 280 percent we get to something that's very very usable at least in most tile sets you wouldn't want to use it in an open world with that uh, let's just spawn these enemies in and then uh, just joke on them because that's that's basically going to be what's going on between Condemn and everything else. Throw the one out here. Take that. And uh, let's grab these guns. Obviously, this is without the 200% strength, but I wanted to showcase that, like, it's not going to matter that much. Like, the heavy units survive a bit longer. Uh, they die instantly if you uh, do the full strip of their armor. So that's a consideration. Yeah, you're going to see in like, obviously I could do matter eye to show like just what the full armor strip looks like. And we can definitely do that. Uh, just like re up keeping my four here real quick. Obviously I have energy already. I'll spawn them in. I'll do the matter eye thing real fast so that we can show this with the, oh, they're still dying. Wait, 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 no, die. Die with the no armor. Guys, jeez, so rude of them to die before I strip their armor. Absolutely inconsiderate. But yeah, this is a, this is what Zaku's about. I take their guns, and their guns kill them. This is the whole thing. Uh, if an enemy is being unruly, throw the Glaive Prime at them, or your choice of other war crime weapon. It's very, very good. A lot of people really don't know that Zaku got fixed pretty quickly uh, after their release. Their release was a little lackluster, uh, and then they pretty quickly got some changes that turned them into exactly this and with the you know more tools that we have now they're doing really well I will say of any of the frames in the game Zaku is the frame that most wants primed stretch should it ever occur so look out for that if that ever happens Zaku is going to be kind of a monster but until then I hope you enjoy the steel path run and I will see you tomorrow <clears throat> okay
right, it's time for spooky, scary skeletons to send shivers down our spine. Yeah, time for gun. <clears throat> yeah, the beginning, the beginning of this is like the only like possibly sketchy part. But I think we'll be fine. We're not even to, like, the really high strength part yet. Okay, yeah, I need, like, 160 stacks in order to have my full armor strip start going. Oh, yeah, I need more guns. Here we go. Here's more of my guns. my question we're almost there there we go healing Find like a good tile for this. So we're at we're at stacks now. I mean, it's still just killing them. I guess I could just like. like the right angle for it because like part of the thing here is that you kind of just get to chill okay yeah okay. okay so this enemy basically is removing all of the armor and shields from everything that they can see and they can see everywhere that my guns will see enemies show up because that area is not uh, spawning dudes. So any enemies that walk around that corner die and any enemies that open that door die. And they're all within the range of my guns. So no enemy will see me and not die. That's like this is like the this is this is what's nice to set up. This is like what's good. Uh, it's nice to have this. This is always you know because it's nice and it's nice in chillax mode, right? Like we're just gonna go over there and grab a bunch of you know all of our our life supports, of course. Uh, but this is good. Oh, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. 
I'll respect you. Jeez. Like, not a lot, but I'll do it enough. No. Bang, bang. Skeleton man, go jump. Slightly more this way, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Maybe a snack room if not for the timers. That's what's nice about like this, like slightly newer version, is that I have a lot more generous um, durations because I have um, words. Um, I have a lot more generous durations because I have molt augmented. Like, you can do this without Molt Augmented, but with Molt Augmented, you just get way more duration, but you have to wait a little bit before, like, your full 100% defense stripping, like, scaling comes in. But I think that's worth it, personally. Bang, bang. Yeah, I think the little bit of extra range was worth it. <clears throat> Probably don't even really need the full 100% strip for this to work decently. For what I'm doing right here, you do. But in order for this to work decently, as in just like be generally good, yeah, no, not at all. Like you need like a good, well, you don't even really need a great strip. Like it's just like a decent one will do. But, like, you can see, like, this this person, you know, there we go. You can see, like, what the damage is on, like, these guys. Like, it's not great with, like, their super high armor. Like, it's, you know, it's definitely workable if you're using a gun of any description. I don't even have full guns, speaking of which. There we go. There's the rest of them. Yeah, just for the ramp up period. Yeah. It's super whatever. This is Macy. You have to point in the general direction. This takes turret mode to a whole new level. This is actually like very similar to um, old Mesa, like kind of. Just in terms of like the coverage, it's really nice. It's such high investment though. Like it's extremely high investment. Like we're talking about like for what we're doing here. Like this is like the much less active version of it. That's a kind of new. Um, and like the reason that this exists is because Molt Augmented is, like, making it so that it's more chill. It's way more active whenever you just don't have access to that kind of duration with this kind of range. And obviously, this requires 200% strength on your floor, so... Uh, the 25% the additional efficiency we're also allowed to run like this because we don't have to run Blind Rage. Ugh. It's incredible. Is harder when you actually have to balance that. So it's not even really so much harder as it is like Zaku's range just didn't really allow for any kind of like like you had to like corner cut wherever you could and now that you have to cut a little bit less of a corner for your strength you can instead invest in uh, like this build being comfortable. Is the like over here making evasion 100%? I think those are multiplicative bonuses. So, no, it's not 100%. Oh, that's very bad. Okay, violence, by the way, is Zaku's natural predator. 
I would highly advise that you um, avoid letting them kill you. Do not stand and fire. Advanced strategy. Well, you know. We'll set up a second totem here. Oh, we're at 10 minutes. Man, that, that feel whenever you played a bunch of, like, not very good frames and then you're starting playing, like, Wukong and Zaku and shit. Oh, whoops. Oh, my map's all messed up. Bobon into Wisp Wukong Zaku Zephyr is pretty fucking good. Yeah, the end of the alphabet is stacked pretty hard. Yeah, and like this build is not even to mention that Zaku is also the best box breaker in the game, which like doesn't come up like constantly, but comes up enough. Yeah, Zaku's really good. They fixed Zaku. Hey, we're back at max rank again. We love to see it. <laughs> what other abilities do? I think the laser is at least fun. Yeah, Zaku has some other fun stuff you can throw in there if you want to. Yeah, good stuff. We love to see it. Like, obviously, like, not at, like, the thousand kills or so you usually want for, like, ten minutes. But also, I was showing off the, like, me not shooting... So, you know, checks and balances. <laughs>